All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Wahweh Karkadash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who teach this word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother Gabar Yahweh Duff from GMS Hawaii coming to you with another quick lesson. And this lesson is on this video that you see in front of you. Okay, and this is a polite, so called brother polite speaks on the allegations of arrest in Miami which you know when you watch this you're going to see that he didn't really go into detail which you know first and foremost any if you are under any type of investigation like he even said it behooves you not to speak about it because he uh, supposedly he has a defense team but what I wanted to uh bring this out was that these are all alleged everything that he's going through or supposedly going through is all alleged but uh what I wanted to, sh to show is that he doesn't believe in the judgment of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't believe that what he's going through, you know, uh, the losses that he's so-called taking, he's going to explain some of them that it's the judgment of the Lord. He thinks that it's just because everybody hates him, you know? And if you watch, if you look at this little video and you see the comments as they scroll up, a lot of these people, they grinding him up. You know, they basically saying that like, you know, he was a poser. He, uh, you know, he basically, uh, in a court of public opinion, he's guilty, man. And it's it is and it's all coming back around. Now, people in the world, they'll say, oh, this is karma. But no, it's the judgment of the Lord, man. And until this case really comes out and people see what happened, then you'll know. But he did get arrested. He did get arrested. He does have a a, a lawyer team. He, he's he's, he's uh, confident in that team, but that ain't going to be enough to, to save you. You know, and he doesn't understand, like like two-thirds of Israel, the judgment that's going to befall you when all hell breaks loose. Matter of fact, Salaki. Khan, the judgment that's about to befall him when all hell breaks loose is going to be for your your iniquities, man. You suffer in this life for your iniquities, okay? And just because you see the hypocrite the hypocrite enjoying his time, it's only but for a moment. You know, all the, the, the worldly fame, you know the jet setting all of that is temporarily especially if you're an israelite because we're down here for judgment we're not down here to be uh shakers and movers in this world to to be uh rich and famous you know and lauded by people man as the scripture says uh this is uh and i'll come back to this one but this is uh luke chapter uh six uh, St. Luke chapter 6 Alright Verse 26 It says woe unto Matter of fact I'll start up uh, uh, Luke 6 24 But woe unto you that are rich For ye have received your consolation Woe unto you that are full For ye shall hunger Woe unto you that laugh now For ye shall mourn and weep Alright and this dude He's you know, for all considered purposes in the world, he's considered a rich man, you know, and he received his consolation. And when you watch this video, he says that, you know, he done achieved everything he wanted to. He done visit 30 countries. He done, you know, got all the cars he wanted, all the toys he wanted. Well, guess what? Now it's time for the balance to kick in. And the balance is that judgment that's coming to you. Woe meaning destruction. And not only for polite, but people like him, uh, those that are famous in the world, those that are not famous in the world, you received your consolation, man. And now it's time for judgment. So again, it says, But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Yeah, you received your comfort in this world. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that are that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. And this man, all he did was laugh. All he did was come up against the men of the Lord, starting off with the apostles, apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. He cast it out, him along with Sonetta, they cast out that idea or that uh that uh that slanderous lie that you know we're rapists that we rape underage girls or overage women like that's what they say they say that oh we're raping 12 year olds and people ran with it not only did people run with it but it became amongst the israelite community that became the most slanderous thing that you could put against the men of great millstone and all the apostles and the elders did was break down the law on rape and how it applies to the Israelites in the ancient world, okay? And and he couldn't get it. He couldn't understand it.
But then they then they ran around telling people that this is something that we do. And he he supposedly he had the Bloods and the Crips put a hit out on us, you know, and all this other madness. And this slanderous lie is something that our enemies use to uh, try to defeat the truth, man. That we're bringing the hundred percent truth. So he was laughing, and now he's about to mourn and weep, man. Okay, so let me play this a little bit. Talk about this crazy talk too. So people say, hey, God is punishing me. That's why my father died, and I'm dealing with this crazy scenario. God is doing that. So when Nipsey got shot in his head, that was God's plan. My father died. That's the world in which we live. So we have enough people in the building right now. We had about 3,500 people. And money can't get you to heaven. Hey, let, let's talk about this crazy talk too. So people say, hey, God is punishing me. That's why my father died. And I'm dealing with this crazy scenario. God is doing that. So when Nipsey got shot in his head, that was God's plan because he got something special going for him. I ain't say that. That's what people say. His family say this. Uh, when Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter, they said, man, God had a special plan, took him and his daughter because he they, he knows he loves his daughter so much. They took him and his daughter. They said that God's special plan. So he, one man could die in a helicopter, another man get shot in his head. But something bad happened to me. Oh, God punishing me. But then he had a special plan. That's why he got shot in the head and that's why he died in a helicopter. In which all of them men got punished for their wicked and evil deeds that they did. Okay, all those men that he's naming, Nipsey Hussle, Kobe Bryant, they were all wicked. And they got their judgment and they lived in this life, uh, what you would think was a full life, man. Again, back in St. Luke chapter 6, verse, uh, I'll start at 26. Woe unto you when men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets, man. So here it is in, in the ancient world our, our, our people spoke highly of all these false prophets Like like polite is a modern day false False prophet man Okay And people sp spoke high of him And now you witnessing the fall Hey the scripture says uh, Pride cometh before uh, Let me see let me look at that Let me look at that Let me look at that real quick uh, This is a uh, Salak here. Um, this is a. Uh, I know it's the Proverbs. Yep, this is Proverbs sixteen and eighteen. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit. Before a fall So that dude uh, Polite You know he had nothing but Pride man And a haughty spirit man And now he's about to get his fall But he doesn't believe that This is coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai This is coming from the Most High The Heavenly Father Who he ignorantly calls God Alright So he doesn't He, he doesn't believe that But it's true Alright It's true This is um Galatians 6 and 7 Be not deceived The most high is not mocked For whatsoever a man soweth That shall he also reap And this dude sowed wickedness in the earth man This dude sowed wickedness uh, Amongst our people Okay He he put out that slanderous lie That you know We're a bunch of child rapists And all this other wickedness But he's the one doing this He's the one that's under investigation For uh, an alleged, you know, assault on a minor man, and he goes in and he, he talks about his defense lawyers and all this other stuff. But guess what? That, that's not going to help you, man. If the Most High wants you to go down, you're going to go down, man. And there's nothing you can do. It. The black woman who you call your God, she's not going to deliver you. Okay, your money is not going to deliver you because the Scripture says, "Riches profit not in a day of wrath," man. And you don't understand that the wrath of the Lord is coming for you, man. Head is the same man that went to a range and shot up the Bible like he was doing some he was doing something that was uh uh gonna affect the most high's judgment.
But really, he made he thought he was making a mockery of the word of the Lord, but he made a mockery of his own self because the Most High is not mocked. Whatever you sow in the world, you're going to reap. And he's reaping it. He's reaping it, man. Okay? So y'all could miss me with all your spookisms and speculations about God. If you hate me, you just hate me. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's, it. that's in a nigga. A nigga will try to turn it around about himself. It's not about hating you. If you read this stuff, these people are going in on it, man. It says, bro, we don't care. Talk about the charge. And he ain't going to talk about the charge. Somebody said, I'm mad because I looked up to you, man. Yeah, here. Somebody said they were mad. They were mad at this dude because they looked up to him. And he was nothing but a swindler. He's nothing but a liar, a deceiver. Okay, that's what this dude is, man. This dude is a liar and a deceiver. And he got a lot of people. And now, look, the tables are being turned on this dude, man. The tables are being turned on this guy, man. Again, Galatians 67, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap. Um, read it again. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall, the, shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And this dude, he's reaping his corruption man because that's what he put in the earth man beyond all those simple people that were uh swayed by this man he came up against the heavenly father and the son yahweh was shot and he's getting that judgment and see the lord the lord is, uh, is slow to wrath man so y'all think that when a man do something quick hey let me get that real quick uh ecclesiastes ecclesiastes uh, 8 and 11 oh, Yep It's because It says Because sins against an evil work Is not executed speedily Therefore the heart of the sons of men Is fully set in them to do evil Right Because the most I don't judge you right away For your slanderous acts For your wickedness For your evil In your mind You can just keep on doing what you're doing And it's all good Hey but the most I will wait you out man <laughs> Life after life you know, he ain't going to get you right away. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not the Most High. And polite, you don't fear the Most High. You don't fear Yahweh Bashar And it's not going to be well with this man. This is just the beginning. Okay, and even if he gets convicted or thrown in a prison for all this shit that he's undid and for this alleged case, guess what? The Most High still start working on you. He's going to take all those riches. He's going to take all that notoriety. All those people that he was hanging around, they're going to distance themselves from this man because they don't want to be put in the same category as this dude. Watch. Watch, man. Watch, man. The scripture says, didn't, this is uh, the last scripture I got is, uh, uh, second address chapter 9 verse 9 it says then shall they be a pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me and that's polite he's about to be in a pitiful case because he received benefits in this world but he didn't know that the Most High was the one that was giving it to him. Yeah, even though he was wicked, he, he's wicked, he's on the left, he's working with that left-handed energy. Guess what? The Most High make it rich and make it poor. The Most High bring it down to the grave and bring it up from the grave. The Most High put the death and bring people to life. So, hey, polite, you don't got to believe it, but this is the judgment of the Lord. Hey, with that, I'm going to say Shalom, I'm on to the next.